what kind of direction, what kind of music could we create going forward. I'm excited when we're playing that on stage because it makes me just, it gives me that energy because it's like, that's what we're doing, we're living. I like creating songs like that. Um, and I see that song come up on the set list, like I'm ready to go fuck shit. Uh, bad news. I woke up. I woke up. Oh, three years ago, I woke up. And I walked inside my imagination. There's an old Japanese proverb, fall seven times, and on the eighth time, stand up. Perseverance. You gotta do something. You can't just sit around. You wanna entertain people. Oh my god, the big thing in 2020. Let's do a live stream. It'd be so awesome. And everybody will watch it. They'll watch it all. Live streaming sucks because nobody's gonna stare at their phone for five hours to watch their ass. Being at a concert is something special. It's something moving. You're with your friends, you might have a few drinks, but you get to experience brand new music. Stuff you've never heard of, stuff you can only find fresh in the dive bars in any state USA. When you're watching a live stream, it's like getting a hug from a robot. <laughs> and you're like, well, I mean, that was a hug, but was there any feeling in that? <laughs> We actually had some of our favorite local bands playing with us, like Wajet. Reverend BJ. Siege Ramshackle. And the fantastic flying couch. These are all hometown originals. I just felt like with everybody doing live streams, we had to go above and beyond and do something to make it a whole show. You know, when you're talking about looking at your phone, I mean, people have countless apps and, and, and messages and phone calls and things like that on their phone. And if someone's trying to watch you through their phone and, you know, Things are coming through. Uh, they need to check their Facebook. Uh, you, you know, I think that it turned out to. Hello? Hello? That, that brings me to the bigger question. People spend thousands of dollars to record an album and then everybody ends up listening to it on their phone. So what's the answer? Well, I don't know, but I think people are more willing to take a chance on watching a video than to actually just listen to a song. A well-produced video with really cool drone shots and a script and actors and actresses and you know all showing your true vision for the song and it's just an easy way for people to digest your vision and hear your music while they're doing that that I think kind of talk to um, just what we've gone through with COVID. What stands out to me is like the uh, Proverbs. You know, when you think through that, you have to live your life the best that you can and not be afraid to make mistakes. If, if we do that, we're never gonna live. So I, I'm really grateful for that song and, it, and I really get excited when we're playing that on stage because it makes me just, it gives me that energy because it's like, that's what we're doing, we're living. Let's go, let's succeed in all your expectations.
patient. It's kind of like, it has elements of a lot of different things, but I guess the drum beat to me always reminds me of something very tribal, very trance-like, you know. Um, it's kind of repetitive, you know, in my beat, so watching what everyone else chose to put around it um, and how it, it, I feel it grooves, uh, definitely that's that's my, my favorite part of what comes to mind when I, when I think about it. This pretty little ship you made will never blow. Like, sort of one of our weird songs, and we get to have this breakdown where we have the bass play and then the keyboard comes in um, and then the guitar comes back in. And I just like that because it gives it a, a different feel than the rest of our songs. A you gotta show people your vision for the song and that's what I love about summer because we're out making these music videos we're going to different locations you know we're not just doing the song we're trying to make a story to go along with it some cool stuff some nice visuals and uh, just have a ton of experience getting out there and, and just putting these uh, these storylines together whether it be Trump <laughs> in his fiery mouth uh, Megan Hopkins, basically just uh, reworking this old Twilight Zone episode called The Invaders. This video was one of my favorites to do. Creatures. And it's just a shame about Leader, the lost video. They got lost in 2020. It's going to be a great video, but now we don't know when the fuck we're going to be able to do it. Got a whole hard drive full of video and quotes and but honestly, no one is ever gonna wanna relive this year ever again. So I'm gonna focus on the good things that happened because we'll always remember the bad things. Kayaking, it's like a cinematic journey. A big part of 2020 was just kind of reconnecting with nature and getting back out and kayaking a lot, just floating down the stream and kind of relaxing and getting away from it all. I mean, for me, the best accomplishment this year is the new songs. sexy um, verse that we get into and so every time that we start playing that we're just we kind of start rocking and then it kind of takes you on this little in my opinion that just it just has a se sexy sultry sound and so I really really like that song I'm lonely chasing a bird for my swing that has wandered away that's the life Fately pursuing and dreaming while walking in space. Either. So I feel like that's one of the new songs that really encouraged me about what kind of direction, what kind of music could we create going forward. Falling in love is a trip and you're always just rolling down a hill. Cause I can't remember you stand out to me in this concert hall. Flowers for the Birds, it's kind of like our beautiful 2.0. It's, it's more of a poppy song. Um, and I just, I really love playing that song live because it's just so much fun. Three 
have traded flowers for the bird and me. Flowers, flowers for the birds. Return of the Robot. Yeah, this is a great promo. And since we just finished some of these songs and recorded them, we just felt like we just wanted to get out there and play some new songs show people what we've been up to. Such brave people to come back out. So awesome to see fans and people again. Everybody was dying to get out to see a show or get into a place like the Melody Inn where it's inside instead of outside. And we just want to support these local venues and keep them alive. Like we went there when it opened back up and we took pictures of all the stickers of all the bands that have played there. For me, my favorite season is lightning bug season. I mean, they are super magical. Out in my backyard is the place where it gives me the most inspiration. It allows me just to think about projects and, and songs and the band. But summer of 2020 was different. I felt like for America, at least, it was like a long overdue sunset, pointing light at things long hidden in the dark. And while some people didn't want to see what was going on, everyone around the world heard the message. starts off sounding like Iron Maiden <laughs> and then it just takes you on this sonic journey that I think draws you in and, it, and it's part of Robots and Magic Powers and so I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite songs that we do. Um, I've just always, you know, like a broken record, I always just like heavy songs. They speak to me. I like creating songs like that. I don't you know, ever want to pigeonhole myself into wanting to just do this one thing, but when, song, when we create songs like that, um, and I see that song come up on the set list, like I'm ready to go fuck shit up. We were just looking at a lot of different names and different languages and somehow we finally landed on Latin and ex nihilo means out of nothing. The best prop that I've ever built was Davina's robot arm and it turns out that things that look like they're made out of steel are actually just made out of foam. So I learned how to make armor out of foam uh, and make it look super cool and make robot arms. And the thing is, is every once in a while, cause Davina, it's for her, she jumps up and down a lot and gets crazy. And of course, you know, then some things get jostled around and I may have to glue something back together or maybe have to add something. But we are pretty DIY. Me and Series do all the shirts. 
the ideas we can come up with just doing them ourselves and we can try things that don't necessarily have to be sold but this one for ex nihilo was the perfect back to the phoenician shirt it just makes so much sense it's mayan second century it's just old and it's alien cuckoo con I've always been bad at chess, and this year is no exception. We had a full chess board when we started back in January. Sometimes, you know, as a local band, things will just come up throughout the year. You know, with 2020, we kind of, a lot of times we didn't have a lot going on. A lot of places were shut down, and, you know, so it's always cool when you just get this call and it's, it's this great opportunity. So right before we played this show, we got the call we have been waiting on all year long. Adam from Playground Productions is gonna put us in this after party. And even though the big Halloween festival wasn't going on, we would still play some kind of role in some kind of large event. And what was our answer? Well, of course, we would love to. Looking at the invite, there's like hundreds of people already say they're gonna go, so no brainer. Yes, we would love to play. Thank you so much. So finally, everything we'd worked for all year finally makes sense. We kept working it, and here we go. Things are looking up. This is my cousin, yeah, Chad Byrne. Like He's currently working with Guar to develop a video game. So that means we're gonna have a video game pretty soon. And he's always just messing around with the new latest 3D technology and kind of taking our band and putting us into the future and making characters for us and making a storyline so we could do a zine. Uh, you guys save the world in a different dimension and no one knows that here, but it's all laid out in this 300 page manuscript that I wrote up just for the hell of it. And we want to do a lot of this 3D animation. So he's got the capture suit, everything you could possibly want to be able to make yourself into 3D, develop different characters and ideas. And this is the future for us. We want to do more videos and games and stuff like this. And so without further ado, here's more from the doctor clip. I have gifted that which I have sought since I was but a boy. And that is a way out of this shell. This form that we are in will decay and die. What I seek is to find the perfect evolution so that I may live eternally seeking the answers to all. But do not worry. You will be there with me for all those years to come. When the functions of your shell stop and all that you know ceases to be, you will live on. You will live on in the hearts and the minds of the people as enemies of the state. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, series? Hey, so, uh, I have some, uh, bad news. Um, I uh, just got COVID tested, and I tested positive. Wait. That means we're going to have to cancel that show. Uh, cancel that show. Oh, no. Uh, dude, it's like two days away. I don't know. I want 
after talking the other day, obviously, like, in the moment, you know, I was extremely disappointed, you know. And the way I look at it, man, is, like, everything happens for a reason, you know. And this whole year has been one clusterfuck of one thing after another, not just for us, you know, for for everybody. And uh, maybe it's just like a wake-up call. You know what I mean? For people to, like, get back in touch with what's really important. And then, you know, once uh, the vaccine's approved, next year spring rolls around, people are going to be craving live music. And we put in the work, that ray of light, that window of opportunity where um, everything that we've been doing that we haven't really had a, the opportunity to present yet, it'll come. We'll be ready for it. Yeah, this motherfucker right here is the best bartender in Indianapolis. Thank you so much. It's a small town, people. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I've lost so many people around me. There are folks that I haven't seen since much. I know you're out there. If you are, in fact, out there. No, we miss you. Know that we love you. Know that we care about you. I hope it stops. I swear it's going to stop. I think what Maury was trying to say is maybe we should shut up and just be thankful for what we got this year and just know that we got a lot out of this year where a lot of people didn't. So let's rewind the calendar. We played this show back at Black Circle 2019, the winter solstice. And I thought, you know, at least we'll put the concert out there. That should be fairly easy, but didn't really have any plans on doing anything else. I mean, but really, we play so much on a regular basis. We don't have time to do anything more than like a five minute video. I mean, that's that's what my time looks like but it's because of 2020 and the idea that the world just stopped and everything just stopped was the reason that I was able to take one thing like a concert and turn one loaf of bread into many, be able to start releasing this docu-series exactly one year since we played that show. That's what 2020 has done for my creativity. Bottom line, if the world hadn't have stopped, we collectively wouldn't have changed. And these stars would have never aligned. These sparks unite. These stars align forever and ever. Good night. Ever heard of Robots and Magic Powers? Heard of them. This is my first show. Oh, yeah? Glad I made it in time. How does that make you feel? Are you nervous at all? Or? Yes. You are? Right now. <laughs> epic. Always epic. A little scared, <laughs> a little excited, gonna laugh, gonna cry. <laughs> so, what did you have to do? You had to take my vocals down because yeah. I got a loud mouth? Yeah, you got a loud mouth. Yeah. Okay. It's, People are buttoning in here. It's amazing. I feel like I just got off of a train in Dodge City. <laughs> Great rock experience. What's that? Is we... <laughs> the bean is in the window. Amy Foxworthy. Hello. What do you think about this show, Robots and Magic Powers, for 20K20? I'm so excited. I think I get to hear a new song tonight uh, that I haven't heard. Your voice is magical. Thank you. You're welcome. Might shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Come on cool. out. Awesome. Black Circle Brewing. Come out now. <laughs>